So the Jewel Thief, a really interesting circuit, lots of fun to make and play with, but traditionally a bit of a pain to make because they're wound on toroids. And winding on toroids, first you've got to have a toroid, and then you've got to wind it and you have to feed it through so it takes forever. And I came across this method which I thought was awesome. What need is a uh, 12 centimeter wide strip of paper and you'll notice I've marked it one centimeter here one centimeter there so we've got a hundred millimeters or a 10 centimeter strip in the center and a pencil what we need to do is roll that bit of paper up into a tube once you've got your tube you need some 28 SWG, SWG enameled wire and we're going to put two wires side by side because we're essentially wiring a bifilar coil. Now I've got two rolls so I'm just going to hold two bits of wire and wind them on together. If you don't have two rolls just pull off a few meters, fold them in half and do it that way around. Leave enough so that you can go to the other end, so about 100 millimeters or so, and then start winding your coils. Having done that, you need to identify which coil is which, obviously, because you can't tell by looking. So, tag one end, and then at the other end, use a resistance meter or a battery and LED and find the other end of the coil. So, this is coil one, and this is coil two. Now, coil one from this end needs joining to coil two from that end, and you solder them together. Now, the resistance reading on each of those coils should be about 0.5 to 1.5 ohms. So this is what your Jewel Thief circuit looks like. And you can see you only really need three of the bits, a 1K resistor, an LED, and a 2N222 NPN transistor. You arrange them like that and you've got yourself a Jewel Thief. Coil, this one, we join together, that goes straight to the battery. That one there goes straight to the resistor, the 1K resistor. And this one here goes to the collector of the 2N222. So let's solder that up. Okay, so there is my dual thief, and of course it works. Of course it works! If I connect up my battery plus and minus, then that one of 1.2 volt battery is managing to light that LED quite brightly, actually. So the Jewel Thief works really well if you just wrap some copper around a bit of paper tube. You don't actually need the ferrite. I thought that was super because it removes a whole component and it was really easy to wind, actually. So that Jewel Thief works a treat, doesn't it? Now, of course, what I want to do is an improvement on it. And this is what I came across. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap another bifilar coil over that bifilar coil that we just wrapped. And it's the same thing. Get a couple of pieces of wire, sit down, be patient, wrap yourself the turns. Okay, so that's the second bifilar coil wound. And I've done exactly the same thing. Taken the opposite ends of the coils and soldered them together. And then from the two ends, I've just put on some wires and a second LED. So if we connect up our battery, and remember this is not a fully charged battery. There we go. We have that one lighting and that one lighting. Now this one has no electrical connection, so it's just near field transmission, which I think is really cool when you consider this is callous. Anyway, I thought I would show you that new and improved Jewel Thief. I picked it up from Patrick Kelly's book. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.